check, check, check. You already know what it is, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all who are here watching this content, whether religiously or in passing. Shout out to my man Showtime SP, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Um, let's get right to it, man. So I spoke to Uncle Rod yesterday. I spoke to Uncle Rod today. You know what I'm saying? There's a video that I made. Oh, he shouldn't be joking like that, etc., etc. Everybody's mad at Vada, right? So here's the deal. We spoke, had a great conversation yesterday for about an hour. We spoke for about 10 minutes today. And, you know, he knew that I was joking overall. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is something happened at an event. I chose to speak on it. Because as a journalist, you hear a lot of these stories of things that go on in the media. This happened to that person. This happened to that person. And when I heard this story, I thought it was highly unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? But when I speak on it in a regular tone, like, hey, this happened at an event, nobody really cares. So I joked on it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, was he in the middle seat? He told me he does not take middle seats. You can ask Uncle Rob. He told me he does not sit in the middle seat. So, you know, uh, we spoke and I heard about this situation, but I didn't go to him and, and call him and ask him because normally when you call and ask, it gets diffused. Nobody really wants you to put it out, etc., etc. So I spoke on it. He was at an event, you know. The the mood in the area was that they didn't want him there. That's what was being said. That was being told, you know. He said that he didn't know whether if he would go down there if the if the, if the air was muddy and things like that, but. It was never clearly depicted to him. He was in the venue, however he got in there, he got in there, things happened, he was thrown out forcefully, right? Now, after me speaking on it, bringing a message out, whether you like it or not, you don't like the way I delivered it, okay, I get it. These things hopefully do not happen to him again. You know what I'm saying? We had a very good conversation. That's my man. I've been on his camera before. I'll be on his camera again. We just talked about when we'll get up again and we definitely will speak about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's jokes. I crack fucking jokes. I crack jokes all the time. I never knew that. My goodness. Like, I think I hate Uncle Rod. I don't hate Uncle Rod. That's my man. I just literally talked to him not too long ago. The air is clear. There is no beef. There is no big issue. So before you get mad, that I joked on it, be happy that I spoke on it. I brought awareness to something that happens often as media and as a media person. I don't want to go somewhere, get somewhere, can't get in, get called crazy, talked to and forcefully thrown out. You know what I mean? So yeah, I joked on it. You know what I mean? I did. That was the way that I knew that it would bring attention to it. People spoke on it. You know? That's not a good thing for him. And the more important thing that I got from a lot of this was he wants to fix his relationship with Hitman Holla. We spoke about it in good context, you know? He doesn't even know why <laughs> they don't they don't see eye to eye. He don't know, he wants to fix it though. And I'm looking at it like if Hitman literally just went on Uncle, um, I mean, Whack 100 show and they fixed their relationship, him and him and Holla, you know, they're dead in their beef, they, they agree. It took, them, it took a minute to get to where it got to, you know, they was talking, and you know, it went up and went down. They wasn't really agreeing with each other. It was a bunch of people on a panel. The words was exchanged. The this, that, and the third, this gang, that gang, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the whole conversation, they got to a point where they was actually speaking about their battle. Who won, who lost, and possibly even battling each other again. You know what I mean? And that all comes sparked from a conversation. You know, so in my hope, I hope that Uncle Rod gets conversations with Hitman so they can get to the bottom of what the drama is, the bottom of what the situation is. Because he, he's really standing on the fact that when he went down there, he didn't even know that they was doing media passes. And we talked about it. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I do agree with you because you're so known that everywhere you go, you're just used to just getting there. You don't have to deal with the things that other people do. So I get it. Where well, he probably didn't even register with the fact that I'm telling you, yo, if you ain't got his pass, if you ain't on the list, et cetera, et cetera, you know, he didn't know why Hitman told him the day before that, uh, I ain't got no words for you and just walked off. Then the next day threw him out. I mean, he was recording, leaving outside to do an interview, you know, recorded and then he saw him and Hitman just went, you know, 
Beeline. Out. But I want that type of shit to end, you know what I'm saying? I did joke about it, etc. etc. He told me I could leave the video up, but I told him, you know, the message is out of what happened as far as with at the event, how it got out, everybody might not agree with. Some people may say, man, motherfuckers are sensitive, you know what I'm saying? But other people may say, maybe just cracking jokes. You can have your feelings about how the message got delivered, but just know I didn't lie. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the biggest point about anything. I didn't lie. It happened. He got thrown out of the event, damn near forcefully. I mean, they didn't really, if they wanted him there, he would have been on the list, right? <laughs> Wasn't on the list. That's all I'm saying. And he, I mean, we talked about how, you know, media can get froze out of different things. And he talked about different situations with me that when he was at other events, whether it be, you know, outside having to record and things like that. But uh, the overall message was, you know, I didn't like the way he was being treated. It'd be some blowback. Okay, people gonna get mad at me. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that's why I always say shout out to my subscribers. That notification because the people who are here for me are gonna be here for me. If you're not, then I totally understand it. Vada crack jokes. Oh my god. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, life is gonna go on. I literally spoke to him yesterday. We spoke today. There was no harsh words exchanged. He called me. I'm talking about he early uncle early. Shut up. No, that's a joke. Oh my god. Please. Uncle Early, he called me really early. We spoke, we had a good conversation. You know, we I told him exactly why I did exactly what I said. I'm glad that he got out there. He spoke on what the issues were and things like that. Cause like I said, these things happen in this industry often with media. Push to the side, told they can't get in, want them to compromise. Nobody sees it, nobody says anything. So I said something, you know what I mean? Don't sue me, I did say something. If you're still here, you know what I'm saying, watching the content, you know what I mean, my man SP, he'll be back through, and we'll get right back to whatever we do, you know what I'm saying, but my thing is, at the end of the day, I spoke to him yesterday, you know what I mean, and today, but I didn't like go online yesterday and be like, yo, I spoke to him, blah, 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 because that was really not what the focus of our conversation was. He understood that I was joking. He still knows that I was joking, you know, but when I got to that paid in full, he said that's when he felt it, you know what I'm saying? It's the paid in full clip every time, man. Go find that man, Pete. It was it. He ain't working, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'll take accountability. I did release the information, and, you know, it had to be out there, you know? Any part of it that people don't like doesn't change the fact that a pillar in the community went to an event, wasn't really greeted the way the rest of the media was, or people who had passes and things like that, I feel like he's at the top of the list. I'm at home, I'm not there, I'm invited. Why, I mean, if I would have been there, I would have got treated better than him. I don't, I wouldn't have even felt that. That's all I'm saying. You might not like it, but somebody in his position shouldn't be having to go through artists, 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 trying to get in, having to sneak in, getting a regular band, having to sneak in VIP. We did that five, 10 years ago. So that's all it was for me. I cracked jokes about it. I brought attention to it. Hope now when he goes to another event or whatever the case may be, hopefully that doesn't happen again. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that doesn't happen with anyone else. And you know, I, I didn't know that breaking a story was a big issue. Like I broke a story that was true. <laughs> it was the truth. He went to an event. He wasn't really, you know, received with open arms. They saw him there and threw him out. The situation got real tense. Words were exchanged. This is really what happened. You know, so it is what it is. Shout out to every single one of y'all, but I definitely want to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, so we can kill the narratives and kill the drama that me and Ross spoke yesterday and we spoke today, and it is what it is. But shout out to every single one of y'all. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. And the Hitman and Verb, I mean, they talking about them actually potentially having a battle again. Is that something that we even want to see? It's good to see that they could get to an end of whatever issues and drama that they had amicably. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know where these things can go. You don't know what, what could be led to with all of this drama, you know what I'm saying, and things that can happen out here. So I'm glad to see that they got to the um, end of their drama. And hopefully, like I said, I really want Hitman and Rod to squash whatever they got because the community needs those interviews. They need that press coverage. They need him to be able to be there. I'll take people mad at me because I put it out there. Okay, I'm fine with that. Was it messy? Yes, it was. But that's to get the attention so people can speak on it. You know? 
it just it just that's just what it was now you know that this happened and we hope that it doesn't again if hitman and verb could dead their situation which was super crazy him and Ross should be able to dead theirs too and he told me specifically that he's willing to that, he's, that he wants to end that it, you know what i mean the coverage is everything he shouldn't have to be outside filming him as he's walking by. That's why I'm joking about it. Like, what the fuck is this? Why he got to do that? He shouldn't have to do that. Where I'm from, we joke. We joke on everything. It happens. But don't make it think that we're enemies. It's, ne it's never going to be the case. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to every single one of y'all out there. You can get on with your day. You don't have to keep refreshing your feed thinking me and him got beef. It ain't nothing like that. I saw a situation I didn't like. So like, it backdoor bullying. Not really good tactics. Nobody else is going to speak on it. I spoke on it, you know? And I don't feel bad for doing it. The jokes, I'll take accountability for it. Any jokes that get too far and my man's not feeling, then you know what, it's too much for me. Take them down. Cool, I can understand that. But no, if I didn't say anything, you wouldn't be saying anything either. So stay where you stay, get up with your day. Shaman Vada Fly, I'm out of here. Shout out to every single one of y'all. And shout out to Uncle Rod. You ain't know what the fuck going on, gang.